This is a demo of the Xperia Z5 software interface. As you can see here, I am on the home screen. Um, now I am using a theme for this, um, and it's actually based on the Spectre theme. So you will notice that the back button, the home button, and the multitasking button are a little bit different from usual, as is the app drawer button. So um, the Xperia UI if you haven't seen it before, you can have multiple home screens to the left and the right. As we can see uh, when I'm scrolling through here. Um, I tend not to use that many of the Sony widgets. I prefer the actual default Android widgets. The one I do use though is the music um, widget because I do think their music player is one of the better ones. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, as you can see, the folders do expand and contract like so, and um, they're fairly nicely laid out. I, th I do like the way that you can see all of, at least four of the icons um, in the folder view, instead of them being stacked like on a Nexus. When we press the drawer button, we get a side-scrolling drawer. Now, something that is different now is on the Z3 and the Z3 Plus, I believe, you could swipe in from the left-hand side and you would get a drop-down menu. That's now been replaced by the three dots up in the top corner where you can now see sort or manage apps. Now, if we go to sort, it gives us the option to sort by own order. Um, now own order does allow you to have, as you can see here, some folders. I personally prefer the alphabetic order, which is what I tend to use. Um, now you've also got the manage apps button, which allows you to uninstall. As you can see now from the crosses that are on the, the app icons, we can uninstall all those apps. When we press one, it gives us the option to uh, confirm the uninstall. Now, I'm not actually going to uninstall that because I do still use that. But that is how you now uninstall an app. Now, if you want to add an app to your home screen, so say, for example, I want to add AR Fun, I press and hold, I drag it up to the top, and then I can place it wherever I wish on the home screen. If I want to remove it from the home screen, I do the reverse. Drag it up to the top, and that goes red, and then I can just trash it. The drop-down menu, very, very similar to a pure Android menu, with a couple of additions. So one of the additions you'll see in here is um, detect USB device. Now this is designed for when you're using USB on the go. And it does mean that um, when you initially plug one in, your USB device will not be connected. But then when you detect it, it will connect and it should also open File Commander. If we go into <coughs> the Power Management menu, this is where you can activate Stamina Mode or indeed Ultra Stamina Mode. Now I currently have Stamina Mode turned on, as you can see here. Um, gives you a guide. Um, I've also got activation um, as on. I've got extended stamina mode on and I've got some apps that have been whitelisted as well. Now the more apps you whitelist in here the less effective stamina mode becomes. Um, I've also got stamina clock turned on. Now stamina clock means that when I unlock the device to check the time it doesn't actually reinstigate the data until I do a full unlock. Okay, coming back out of that, if I now go into the battery usage, you can see here that my battery usage um, has been fairly good. Now, bear in mind, I've not been using this as my main device, so this is uh, not typical of normal battery usage. I just wanted to show you the overall view. 
coming out of all that, we are now going to access settings from the top corner there. And the settings menu is very, very much like a pure Android interface. Um, you'll notice that there is the addition of themes in there. And there's also a couple of other little tweaks, such as the introduction to Xperia. And the icon sets have changed slightly. But other than that, we do have what I would classify as a very, very Nexus-esque interface. Now, if we quickly go into the music app, you'll see this is one of the reasons why I like the music app. So you have your recently played list. You have the ability to cast and the ability to search. If we tap up here, you can see that we have throwing as an option. We've also got our drop down menu on the left hand side where you can see all your different options including the ability to play music off a home network. Now I do have an S drive which I should identify. Um, however it doesn't seem to want to be. But this would allow me to play music off my NAS drive if I wanted to. You've also got podcasts and various other features in there. So that is the music player and I do prefer this over the default Google music player. Notifications, as you can see, appear just as they would normally. And that's pretty much all I've got. So that was a brief overview of the UX on Sony. Thanks very much.